What's up guys, my name is Aos, and today we're going to be learning more about Sonic Speed Simulator. If you're new to the game, make sure you watch my previous video where I talk about how you can level up and progress as fast as possible. In this video, we'll be going over what Chow and Trails to collect and level up. You'll need to spend red star rings on these, so make sure you're not wasting them on an item you'll never use. Make sure to subscribe if you like seeing this kind of content. Alright, let's get into the video. After progressing through the game, you'll unlock a boss fight with Dr. Eggman. It's here that you'll have access to some of the best Chow and Trails that you can get in the new Reborn update. After beating the boss, you'll earn spins on a wheel to get rewards. The amount of spins you get is determined by how fast you can beat Eggman. Now not all of these rewards are good, we're only going to be going after a few specific ones. The Sunkiss Chow, Detective Chow, Rider's Chow, and the Light Chaos Chow are the four best items on this wheel. Now you'll see I've been doing a bit of collecting. I have a bunch of Detective Chow for experience, a bunch of Sunkiss Chow for rings, and above here I've also got two Light Chaos Chow. These are slightly better than Detective Chow for experience, but worse than Sunkiss Chow for rings. So if you want maximum experience, go for these, but if you want rings, go for the Sunkiss. I also have some Rider's Chow here that I've been neglecting to upgrade. They're the best Chow you can get for damage right now, so make sure not to delete them. Now you might be wondering why I didn't mention the Burst Power Trail from the Dr. Eggman boss fight. Well, I have a better alternative here, the Purple Strike Trail. It has the exact same stats as the Burst Power Trail, but it's a lot easier to get since you can just pay rings for it rather than having to grind Eggman over and over. This will save you a lot of time, but if you really want to have the Golden Star Trail, feel free to grind Eggman for it, it won't make a difference. Now getting the Purple Strike Trail will cost you a lot of rings, so I do recommend farming Eggman first for some Sunkiss Chow and farming up a bunch of rings. Once you have enough, you can head over here to the Emerald Hill Zone and find this 18 million ring vending machine, where it's a 1.4% drop. It will take you a while and you will spend a lot of rings doing it, but it's faster than grinding Eggman, so I do recommend it. Once you have 5 Chow upgraded to level 25, you'll be ready to fuse them. Head on over to the fusion machine in Emerald Hill and throw all 5 of them into the machine. Then you can use a small amount of red star rings to fuse them into one even more powerful Chow. Now make sure they're all level 25 or it won't let you fuse them. If you need more red star rings, look out for the adventure quests. They're offered by Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles and can be done once every 4 hours. These reward 85 red star rings every time you do them, so make sure not to forget. Now we'll go over the difference between Fused and Unfused Chow. You'll see here I have 3 level 25 Detective Chow equipped. I only get 372,000 experience, but if I equip 3 Detective Chow that have been Fused, we're going to see a lot higher numbers. 930,000 experience. Now that's more like it. So when you get to the Eggman boss fight, make sure you kill him as fast as possible to get as many spins on the wheel as you can. Spin as many times as you want and unlock the best items in the game. Pretty soon, you'll be the best Sonic Speed Simulator player around. Just keep at it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.